starts now. Good evening, everyone. I'm Chad Mira. And I'm Lauren Culber. Thanks for watching KX News. In tonight's top story, a unique situation for one county's state's attorney. During the primary election in Hedinger County, no candidates were listed for the primary election. Now there seems to be two viable candidates, but as Steve Kirch explains, only one will be on the ballot. Incumbent Hedinger County State's Attorney Amy Pakofsky isn't on a November ballot. And if she wants to get reelected, she's going to have to do it as a reigning candidate. A little bit of an uphill battle when you're not on the ballot and you're asking people to write in your name, especially when your last name is Pakofsky. <laughs> the 32 year old state's attorney lost her residency in the county when she moved in with her fiance in Stark County in January after having a child together. And it seemed to make sense to, to live at his place out in the country. He farms. And he farms with his family, so they're pretty well established there. At the time, Pakovsky didn't think there would be an issue because there are only three attorneys in Hanger County, including herself. At the time, I didn't think that there would be anyone else interested in the job, and I talked to the county commissioners, and they were very open to appointing me if no one else ran. But in the June primary, the voters spoke and wrote in David Crane's name, the former Hedinger County State's Attorney from 1985 to 1988. I had, uh, you know, no no inkling that this would, would happen. Crane says he originally had no interest in the position, but when former Dunn County State's Attorney Pat Merriman joined his law practice with his other two partners who were also state's attorneys, he thought they could bring a lot of experience to the position. Overnight, uh, it seemed doable. Pakofsky bought a new house in Mott so she could be eligible as a writing candidate and is getting out the word with yard signs and ads that she's still in the game. I could certainly understand if someone thought that it, if their tax dollars are paying my salary that I should live in the county. And, and if that's how they feel, I certainly respect that. If reelected, Pakofsky says she will commute between her home in Mott and her family's farm in Stark County. And she says it's worth it. It's important work. Um, I feel like it helps protect the public. It's in a, a sense of public service role. Steve Kirch, KX News. Pakovsky was elected Hedinger County State's Attorney in 2015 and was elected in 2016 with 99% of the vote. Election Day now is just four days away.